Good morning, Emmaus. Uh, my name is Gawain Perkins, and I've been asked to lead us in prayer this morning as a part of Man Cave's 22 for 2022 prayer campaign. Uh, our prayer this morning on Saturday, January the 29th, is that God would increase our faith, that God would increase our faith. Our scripture reference is from Mark. Our scripture reference this morning is from Mark, the ninth chapter, verses 17 through 29. I'll read it from the Good News Translation. A man in the crowd answered, Teacher, I brought my son to you because he has an evil spirit in him and cannot talk. Whenever the spirit attacks him, it throws him to the ground and he foams at the mouth, grits his teeth, and becomes stiff all over. I asked your disciples to drive the spirit out, but they could not. Jesus said to them, How unbelieving you people are. How long must I stay with you? How long do I have to put up with you? Bring the boy to me. They brought him to Jesus. As soon as the spirit saw Jesus, it threw the boy into a fit so that he fell on the ground and rolled around, foaming at the mouth. How long has he been like this? Jesus asked the father. Ever since he was a child, he replied. Many times the evil spirit has tried to kill him by throwing him in the fire and into water. Have pity on us and help us if you possibly can. Yes, said Jesus, if you yourself can. Everything is possible for the person who has faith. The father at once cried out, I do have faith, but not enough. Help me have more. Jesus noticed that the crowd was closing in on them, so he gave a command to the evil spirit. Deaf and dumb spirit, he said, I order you to come out of the boy and never go into him again. The spirit screamed, threw the boy into a bad fit, and came out. The boy looked like a corpse, and everyone said, He's dead. But Jesus took the boy by the hand and helped him rise, and he stood up. After Jesus had gone indoors, his disciples asked him privately, Why couldn't we drive the spirit out? Jesus answered, Only prayer can drive this kind out, answered Jesus. Nothing else can. In the King James Version, it says, "Only the, These go out only by prayer and fasting. Let us pray. So, Lord God, we thank you for the opportunity to come before you this morning to seek your face, to seek your face, and to pray on behalf of the Emmaus community. So we come this morning to pray about and to pray for an increase in our faith. In this passage, the father says to Jesus, yes, I do believe, but help my unbelief or increase my faith, Lord. And and so we assume that posture this morning, Lord God. We are on our knees this morning crying out to you that you would increase our faith that you would open our eyes to your possibilities of what can be done in seemingly hopeless situations, that we would take you at your word that all things are possible if we have faith. We need you, Lord God, this morning to increase our faith, to help our unbelief. That is our cry this morning, that you would increase our faith and help our unbelief, Lord God. I'm reminded of your words in Matthew 17, verse 20, when you answered the disciples. And actually, it happened right after this incident with the boy falling to the ground. And you said, I assure you that if you have faith as big as a mustard seed, you can say to this hill, go from here to there and it would and it will go. You could do anything. Literally, mustard seeds are very tiny hardly even a millimeter in size. But when planted, they grow into a huge shrub. We pray this morning, Lord God, that 
we would increase that mustard seed faith, that you would increase that mustard seed faith we might have so that it could grow into a huge plant. Lord, you've said faith without works is dead. So I pray that you would increase our faith, but that we would also, as the Emmaus community, put our faith into works, Lord God. I pray, Lord God, for an increase in our faith. That that if that we would just take the faith that we might that we have this morning, even though it be tiny, even though it be the size of a mustard seed, and we would exercise that faith in you, exercise that faith in situations, Lord God, where situations that are right in front of us, Lord God, that we would exercise that faith and watch you, Lord God, as you give the increase. Watch you, Lord God, as you grow that plant, grow that faith into a huge shrub, Lord God, that can give life to other people. Lord God, we pray, we thank you, Lord God, that you're a God of faith. We thank you, Lord God, you're a God who keeps your promises. And Lord God, so as we seek you this morning to increase our faith as the Emmaus community, and all those associated with the Emmaus community, that you would do just that, God, that you would increase our faith and give us opportunities to be the light in this world. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen and amen.